Hey, we're back to the same day. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother with fourth wall. Everyone knows we're recording th these all in advance. Yeah, we record these in bulk. <laughs> like, like camp on Sunday. No, none of us live really close to each other. We have to. Yeah. If I had, if I had an office, and then you'll take its way deserves. Maybe you should help him. I don't know why everyone likes to <laughs> likes to act like Yosuke should be a, a love interest. Um, I feel like he's too much of an ass about it. That transfer stuff. Like he's good enough for a bromance, but not exactly a romance. Chad, you know Tommy. <laughs> I love how I love how they give extra indication between the Chad and the you. Yeah. <laughs> kind of making it seem like Chad's an actual title. <laughs> I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Just facing real, right? Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that uh, thirteen from an antenna. Play Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna destroy some of these games if you don't. So what's your fun in there? I spent good money on this. Kid. This is ten years worth of, twelve years worth of, eleven and a half years worth of collecting. Let's stop showing me the shit. Oh, you want shit? That's just messed up. All right. You've already shown me Chicken Blast. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on the PS3. Kevin has it. PS3. Kevin had it. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's a shittier version. Kevin actually had that version. Oh. That sucks. Uh. Duck Dynasty. <laughs> he had it, I think he had it before the PS3 got stolen. Uh. To everyone who, actually no one knows this, what happens is back in freshman year of my high school year, so back before I'd ever met Logan, um, what happens was, one random day, I'd taken my phone with me to school, because I'm not stupid. I don't care if it was banned, I wasn't about yeah, to leave that at home. Ugh. And what happens was, while I was gone, like... Someone had straight up broken into our house and stole the vast majority of our electronics. The only thing that managed to escape was my phone and my brother's 3DS. Wow. Since it was hidden. So. Hard to know what battle practice. Like, it wasn't even hidden properly. It was just inside, inside the carrying case and they didn't bother checking it since it just looked like a giant Pokeball. Like a flat one. Huh. Meh. I don't care. It's Castle Crashers, but with Dragon Network characters. Uh, and it's bad. Yeah. There is like. Here compared to the big city. So everyone had to get replacements, but we lost our PS3 and our Xbox 360. And then I can easily say that was one of the saddest days of my life. You know about it's grilled steak, man. Steak. Special, huh? Kia just comes in flying. So was a steak? No place where you can get a cheese. F steak. Unpopular opinion. I do not like steak. I don't like steak much either. But I like hamburger. What about me, huh? No apologies. Like um. My trial of the dragon. I don't know, man. There's some meats that I I like, and some that I just straight up don't like. Yeah. I don't like eating steak, and I don't like anything with bones in them. Although that might be because of the fact that I had a bad experience with bone uh, with uh, chicken with bones. Yeah. Like I'd gotten Popeyes. Well, it wasn't even me. It was like my my mom. And uh, I ate some of it. I didn't know it had bones in it. And I ate the bones. Yeah. It was a it was an awful day for me. That's disgusting. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Everyone acknowledges that game is terrible. Yeah, I played with my sister. We couldn't even last the whole game. The fact that you... Oh, well. Wait, do you have, like... Uh... The, the brother? Amiibo? Yeah. Of fucking course you do. Because that, that was literally the only type of game that was... That was literally the only type that was released for that game. Yeah. Alright, Juness Food Court. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have I don't get why people ship Yosuke and Chie when they're just assholes to each other. 
So, some Sunday bullshit, but at the same time, I don't really see it. I feel like she dislikes him too much. Yeah. Like, it's not even on the whole Sundre abusive thing. It's more on the fact that I just straight up feel like Chie legitimately does not like Yosuke. She, she deals with him and tolerates him, but I don't get the idea that she actually likes the guy. Yeah. Just up I feel like if it weren't for the fact that they they live in a small town and the fact that you is around to to help mitigate the whole thing, that they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't interact as much as they ever as they do. If they lived in like an actual big city, I don't get the idea. Scott the Waz would be proud. <laughs> yeah. But like, I, I get the feeling that they lived in an actual city. Like if they lived in Tokyo, they would never interact. They they would just straight up not talk to each other. Yeah. I actually have two copies of Madden 08, so one for PS2 and one for Xbox 360. I actually have two on Xbox 360. Yeah, I know. Like it did, and do you want to know why I can tell that that's technically true? Why? Because unlike uh, unlike the ideas with like Junpei and y Yukari from Persona 3, you don't get the idea that they've known each other for a long time, especially since Yosuke is a transfer student. Up, meaning, and, and like as, as it's mentioned right there, half a year, a meaning she's only known Yosuke for half a year. Yeah. She tolerates him, uh, but if this were literally any other town, or if this was a city, she would never have interacted with the guy. <laughs> yeah. And if she did interact with him, I had the idea she wouldn't have interacted with him for much longer than like the first two or so meetings. Uh, unimportant plot device, totally. Hey, it's Saki Senpai. It's important enough to, to you guys to get motivation to get to actually start doing stuff, but that's about it. Yeah. She Yosuke's girlfriend? <laughs> he <You> wishes. <laughs> Yosuke will never get a girlfriend. I don't know, I just... I get the idea that, like... Okay, here's what I feel like what would happen if Narukami just straight up never showed up here. I get the feeling that... <laughs> If Chi or Yukiko were to ever get with anyone that wasn't, like, Narukami or, hell, even themselves, I had the feeling they'd just straight up marry some people that weren't from this town at all and leave. I mean, Yukiko's whole social life is about wanting to run away. Yeah, but, like, the reason I say this is because, one, Yukiko wouldn't have had Yu around to help her out with her issues. She would have just straight up left anyways. Yeah. The only reason she stays behind and, like, actually li lives and manages the place is because she realizes that she... Uh, thanks to her, her interactions with Narukami, that she doesn't want to leave. She just doesn't like the idea of not having a choice. Yeah. Like, she would have gone to regret that stuff, but she would have done it. Chie, well, there's a chance she would have gone with the whole uh, cop thing. I get the feeling that she probably would have try tried to gone off with that, uh, with the whole idea of becoming, like, a martial arts movie star. Because I don't get the idea that she... I don't think she'd ever wanted to be a cop like she did in in the game proper because of the fact that... The reason she wanted to be a cop was because of the fact that she she had uh, learned all... She had gone through this whole situation. Like, I get the idea that she wouldn't have gone with that career path if it weren't for this game. So I feel like they'd have both left this town eventually. And... I don't even know if they'd be able to interact with each other the way they do nowadays, because of the fact that you can tell by the way they, the, their shadows interacted. Yukiko and Chie were slowly but surely getting sick of each other. Like you, like Chie liked the idea of Yukiko being completely codependent on her, but Yukiko was really pissed off at the idea that Chie wasn't the. But wasn't holding up to uh, hold, wasn't holding up to the standards that she put on Chie. Yeah. So, like you can tell very much that that friendship would have actually fallen apart. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Yosuke would have definitely moved out the second he could have. He does not like this town. He did not. He he straight up wanted anything to get away from the minutia of living in this town, which is why he was so happy that you moved in in the first place. Rise, um, I feel like, I, honestly, outside of the, fa outside of the fact that she uh, probably wouldn't have returned to her singing career, yeah. I get the feeling that she would have had to deal with a bunch of people, uh, a bunch of the things, that, a bunch of her identity issues alone, and I don't know how she would have handled that. Yeah. It could have gone from anywhere from suicide to just straight up never uh, returning to her, to the job she loved in the first place. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Kanji, 
Man, I, don't, I get the feeling he never would have accepted his own, uh, what he liked. He, he, he would have just done what a lot of people do in Japan, and that's just straight up give up on all of their hopes and aspirations. It's depressing, but it's true. There's a reason why people can actually work themselves to death there. It's because they've just given up all sort of will to live on just the basis of wanting, to, uh, on needing to actually work for a living. Yeah. Because unlike here and where, uh, in America and where you have to like work to enjoy life, it, like you you live uh, you work to live here in America. Yeah. In, a, in Japan, it's more on the basis that you live to work. Your entire life and life is based on the the career you make. There's a reason why in so much so much of Japanese media, there's there's parents that are constantly working and never around their kids. It's because that's actually how it works. Yeah. It's why it's why even though here in America we always we're always wandering around, we're always like questioning where's Midoriya's dad or where's Ash's dad and shit like that. Guess what? In Japan, that's the norm. You never see your parents because of the fact that they're always working unless they're a stay-at-home parent. Yeah. There's a reason why no one bats an eye at the fact that Deku's dad is constantly working overseas. It's because he's working to give them a proper life. No one questions it because that's just how it works in Japan. Like, what? here in America... Everyone would look at that as insane. Why would you not want to spend your time with your kids? Why would you constantly be working? Why don't you try and put put off work just to spend time with your child? You know, the kid you wanted explicitly because of the fact that you wanted to have a family. Guess what? That's not how it works in Japan. There's a reason why Nanako has to deal with the fact that her father is constantly away from her life. Yeah. More details in the developing story. On the incident in Foggy Hinaba, announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this... And, uh, continuing on with the whole, uh, thing, with, like, characters having to, uh, char characters, like, trying to live their life without not a kami in there? Yeah. I don't get the, uh, like, on, this is just on the basis that I'm ignoring the idea that every one of these characters would have died by then. Let's be honest here. Yeah. I'm ignoring all the supernatural elements, I'm just focusing on the social links alone. I don't get the idea that now uh, that Naoto would have ever been willing to ever acknowledge the fact that she's a woman. Yeah. I get the feeling that she would have to live her entire life pretending to be something she's not. Yeah. And that's actually kind of depressing, especially since the fact of the matter is the reason she had to do that is because Japanese uh, detective culture is super sexist. They would not have accepted a. They barely accepted a teenager being a detective. They would never have accepted a female teenager being a detective. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, the only reason that people let her off on that is because of the fact that she was already famous before the fact before she ever revealed that she was a woman. She had already proved herself to the world or to the to the world that she was worthy of being a detective. Yeah. And even then, she had proven it by gaining the spite of her super, uh, of her peers. There was, there's a reason why Dojima doesn't like her. She, she, she's straight up disliked by everyone who's a detective, who uh, because they view her as that new upstart who who's breathing through life. They don't understand the fact that she's actually struggling through life. Yeah. It's actually why I hate the whole trans Naoto ideal. Thank you. Because, look, I get it if you want trans rep representation in, this, in your favorite franchise. But first of all, do you remember where a franchise originates from? Japan would never have a trans person outside of, like, making them a joke character. There's a reason why the Okuma from One Piece exists. Like, it was actually super amazing that they got Okiku, who's legitimately a trans woman, in One Piece, in this day and age. And that's because of the fact that Oda is treating her with respect. Yeah. But if you remember, but if anyone remembers, the Okama are also trans people. But look at how they were treated. They were viewed as a, as joke characters. It's actually amazing that Blanca actually got actual, uh, like, um, the, I forgot her name. Which one? I've never seen one face. Uh, it doesn't matter. Basically, it's amazing that he that even though he treated them like joke characters, they were still given plot significance and the idea that they were good characters. Hey, Dad. Yeah. That that was impressive. Guess what? What? Automatically, 
D- real life Japan does not like uh, uh, does not like trans people. Yeah. Like, amazingly, the homophobic sta- uh, country is also pretty transphobic, and not automatically they don't like the idea of trans people, especially in this day and age, two thousand and eight. Two thousand and eight. Yeah. Do you think that there would have ever been a trans character? No. No. Not unless they were a joke character. Not unless they were meant to look funny. They, they, they were literally, they're always joke characters for a reason. Alright, it's time to check out the Midnight Channel rumor. But, as it is, the other reason, the, the other reason why the trans now to thing doesn't work is because of the fact that it's central to her story that she accepts that she is a woman. Yeah. It is literally part of her plot. Like, it is literally a major facet of her character that she has to accept that she is who she is. She can't hide behind the idea that she's the male teenage detective to, to get away from having to deal with her peers' uh, resentment. She has to live with the fact that she's a woman. She was born a woman, and the fact that she acknowledge herself, acknowledges herself as a woman. She doesn't view herself as a man. She pretended to be a man to get the respect of others. Yeah. There's a reason why she immediately after dealing with her issues in the in her with her shadow, she finally started to acknowledge uh, acknowledge herself as a woman. You can't uh, making her trans outright not only ignores the story, but actually counteracts her her de- her development as a character. People. Yeah. Well, some people are just plain stupid. This isn't about being stupid. This is about being arrogant enough to, to think that if you make a certain character trans, it still works out. Her character cannot be trans explicitly because the plot dictates that that's not what her story is about. Yeah. Her story is about people accepting that women deserve a place in the workforce. It's about, it's literally the, uh, the idea that women are equal to men. That is her story. Yeah. The fact that you guys want to undermine that is insane. Are you okay? I don't. I don't understand why. Why the LGBT crowd view it as something that they have to constantly fight over who gets to be more equal than everyone else. And the fact of the matter is, it's usually also infighting. Because of the fact of the matter is, as it's been mentioned in the past. The LGBT, LGBT community isn't one giant collective. It's a bunch of smaller movements collected into one. But they all have their own uh, agendas. Yeah. Trans people want to be accepted, but that, does, uh, and, uh, the, but that doesn't mean that they're willing to accept gays and, uh, and lesbians as their own thing. They will actively undermine them to get ahead in life. Yeah. They will also actively undermine, like, cis people. Guess what? A good chunk of these activists, especially the, the very uh, vocal minority, will try to undermine you just because you are a woman who identifies as a woman. You were born a woman, you were identified as one, so you are the enemy to them. And that is the sad reality of these movements. Yeah. A good chunk of them feel like they have to knock down everyone around them to get ahead. It's fucked up, but it's real. There's, do you know how, ma- how much bi people have to go through because of the fact that everyone in uh, everyone around them says they don't exist? Yeah, it's on. This one? PC. You're wrong, let's smack you. Okay. There is so much bi erasure that it's ridiculous. I know I know someone who I met in like my senior year. She was a freshman who quickly grew grew on like the group. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I remember talking to her, and she straight up did not believe bi people existed. She did not believe in bisexuality. This was in 2018. You found the body. 17 or 18? It was 18. Ah. Uh. She straight up did not believe in bisexuality. And I feel that's insane. It's well, to each their own, I suppose. Really that important, but 
Well, yesterday on TV. Look. The vast majority of people in the world are straight. Yeah. But the, but the same thing is, the vast majority of those straight people are also capable of under, of being bisexual because guess what? The, va the vast majority of people don't really understand this. But humanity has streamlined themselves to always be uh, sexually arousing to just about anyone. Yeah. It is possible to be aroused by anything. Yeah. Things are really out of hand. So automatically, I'm sorry. I can technically understand why some people try to view as bi bisexuality is not a thing. But guess what? It's it's wrong. It's wrong because it's true. Bisexual people exist. There are people who are willing to acknowledge that they view both men and women as sexually attractive. Because guess what? The vast majority of people are that way. There was an actual survey of showing how, what women are able to be aroused by. What about you? And women are actually able to be aroused by just about literally anything. Yeah. It's a sad fact. But guess what? The reason why uh, the reason why people are able to be bisexual is because humanity as a whole, kind of, oh yeah, are horny to everything. Humans are literally like powered by sexuality. Yeah. Like, do you know just how many of humanity's advances were few, were created by the, by in in response to something they desired? Because of the fact that they wanted to be more sexually attractive to others. It's actually kind of hilarious just how much of human history was shaped by by people being horny. Yeah, I mean, how else do you think babies are made? Mm. Stork. You don't think the stork makes babies? Go no. take sixth grade sex education class. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But, yeah. Uh, th that's another thing. Uh, can I imagine the whole bi erasure thing? Do you know how many characters in, in in fiction are forced to just be one or the other? Yeah. Because of the fact that that, uh, that people who try to in, try to do the whole LGBT, LGBT thing just straight up do not believe in bisexuality. Yeah. Like, sure, uh, sure for, the, for the vast majority it's LGBT, but guess what? Bisexuals, as in the B in LGBT, are like that one group that no one likes. Want to go check him out on the way back? It's actually kind of hilarious just how much they undermine undermine their ide their ideals of equality by going either way to knock down other people. Yeah, it, and that's because a good chunk of these people aren't looking for equality. Yeah, we've got some pretty big ones. It's it's why uh, I have an issue with a lot of so-called feminists. It's because they're not looking for equality. They're looking for superiority. Yeah, they want to be above in life. Well, that's never because they're because they're mostly self-centered about it. That's never gonna happen. They they don't they don't want to acknowledge the fact that they're trying to not they don't want equality. They want to be above you. They don't want to acknowledge that because it means that they'd have to acknowledge the fact that they're terrible people. Honestly, yeah. And no one wants to acknowledge the fact that they're terrible. They don't have clerks around. Not worth trying, then I guess. Well. The TV's about as big as yours. Yeah. So if you if you if you were ever touched the <laughs> fucking imagine. Uh, I mean I can try. That'd be terrifying. Because you know that you know for a fact that that means a thing that yeah. shit would be going down. Yeah. Stop taking out the internet from the watch TV. Shut the fuck up, boy. Hey, Invest in manga. Uh, I'm gonna leave oh, it. It's all just a dream. Still glorious. Besides, I spent I spent so much of this shitting on Yosuke. <laughs> He's a terrible human being. I called him a terrible human being explicitly because of how he treats Kanji. I think she's gone. What am I saying? Yeah. So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? Like, do you not remember how he treats Kanji throughout this game? She's, she just got to the point where she ate face for herself. Okay, here's a spoiler. He's a total homophobe about it. 
Like, Kanji's not even, like, canonically gay, he's most likely bisexual, but he still treats him as weirdly as possible, because he view he looks at Kanji and thinks that at any moment Kanji's gonna hit on him. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. <laughs> and yet he still sends for Byakuya Tagami. Uh, even though if Byakuya Tagami was a real person... He would be the worst type of person. Yeah, he would just immediately throw her under the bus. He, he'd be like Trump! Actually, that's uh, that's going too far. Yeah. He's not like that. He just he's just heavily into social Darwinism and uh, believes he's better than everybody else. My sister also considers you to be the real life ultimate imposter. That's some stupidity. I know. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but guess what? To any Danganronpa fans, the fact of the matter is, j the vast majority of people aren't ultimate material. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Since Ultimates are seemingly the most dysfunctional group of people in that world, they are worthless, kind of in my opinion. Because they are too se centered around what their, what their ultimate talent is. There's a reason why the best characters, like, plot-wise, are the main characters. As in the ones who are able to step back and actually look upon the world with common sense. Yeah. There's a reason why Makoto Naegi and Hajime Hinata were able to gain the title of Ultimate Hope. Hajime got it artificially, but the fact of the matter is, he basically proved it upon himself by being the most uh, common, uh, the, the only person with common sense during the vi virtual world thing. Yeah. Meanwhile, Makoto gained it because he was the only one. Uh, he was the only one with enough common sense to actually step back and look upon these people and see how dysfunctional they are. Yeah. He's he's not he he's. Uh, both of them basically shit, them, shit upon themselves for not uh, for not being ultimate material, yeah. but explicitly because of the fact that they're more like normal people, it makes them better than the ultimates. They're able to interact with people. They're able to make proper friends. They're able to actually think about uh, think about their issues in life properly and deal with them. They're not about to break down like uh, like these like the rest of, like the rest of the ultimates are. Like. Do you remember the ending to, to Diamond Rebel 1 and 2 in which b both times the ultimates around the main characters are all have all given up hope and are falling to despair? Yeah. Like, did you guys break that easily? Pretty much. Like, I, I can understand the, the main characters from the first game breaking down that easily because of the fact that automatically they've just found out that the world's basically ended. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is... You guys broke way too easily. Like at least the the remnants of despair broke down because they 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 were put through a brainwashing sequence and saw one of their best friends get murdered in front of them. Yeah. Guess what? Sure, society may, might be broken, but guess what? If you manage to succeed, you can rebuild. That is my issue with Danganronpa. Yeah, the whole con the whole concept of despair in there is illogical. Like, it is stupid beyond all relief. Yeah. There's a reason why Junko and Ishima's plan was failed to start from the- failed to- uh, failed for disaster from the start. Yeah. She's too stupid to actually realize that, guess what, your so- your so-called fetish for despair doesn't work on the whole- on the long scale, because no matter what, there will always be people who will actually stop and act, stop and, you know, try and make the world a better place. Yeah. No matter how much brainwashing you put, no matter how, no matter how much you put people through, there will always be the determinators who go out of their way to try and make the world a better place. No matter how, how much shit they deal with. <coughs> Your understanding has increased. I think my butt's <coughs> uh, Of course it is. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? <sighs> no, stupid. Look around. This is a midnight channel. Is this Your sister is the worst type of person, by the way. I know. I have told her she's very toxic, and no, she's like, no, you're very toxic. She's literally the, the like one of those people you'd find a, you'd find telling that Steven Universe uh, fan artist to commit suicide. <laughs> she likes Steven Universe. No, I'm talking about like if you don't remember that incident, I remember that. the that one fan artist who drew who drew Rose Quartz as yeah, skinny. I remember that, and then the sh the show just pretty much proved that. 
I think. It actually did, because Pink Diamond wasn't exactly fast. Yeah. The, the fact of the matter is, if you really have to think about it, the reason why Pink, uh, Rose Quartz was so fat, in parentheses, was because she was compressing herself to, and she had to put the, her height somewhere else. Yeah. Her true appearance was that it was that of a beautiful woman who was in the skinny spe- the skinny spectrum. Yeah. Although it's ironic that, that that's how she appeared when they tried to make her out to seem like the bad guy because you know she's a terrible human she's a terrible person. I, I don't it's kind of messed up when you think about it that when when she's revealed to be a terrible person she's revealed to also be skinny and tall. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fucked up that way. <laughs> I like how like one percent of the commentary on the series isn't even just released to the game, and the other ninety nine percent just talking about random shit. Yeah, but in reality, that's how most of these YouTube channels work. Yeah. Also, I'm not very focused on this game. <laughs> we're doomed. <laughs> I would have gone with the we're uh, doomed. Okay, we live my save. No, no, just leave it alone, dude. Okay. I don't want to replay like a fat. 31 minutes. But, yeah, I have a lot of issues with media and the way people act. I, I know for a fact that I will be gaining no friends and I will be gaining a lot of enemies. <laughs> and I'm also going to be called a whole lot of things and I'm probably not. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure I cut... I cut... I cut... I I gave quite a few enemies during the Final Fantasy video. When, when I called that Japan on its bullshit. For all the 20 people that watched it. Yeah. It, I am super lucky that this that these videos aren't more popular because I'd probably get called out. Yeah. Are you sure we're not wandering farther? I mean, apparently we have 17 subscribers. That's more than I expected, actually. Yeah. We had 18, but then someone unsubscribed. I wouldn't, be I wouldn't be surprised if more people unsubscribed after this video. I mean, I intend for this ser the episode one to go up on Sunday. Sorry, and then at least one episode a day after that. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest here. I don't expect this this series to get much viewership because it's not a blind playthrough. Hey, yeah, people like watching blind playthroughs explicitly because of the fact that they like seeing people uh, play games they've never played. Yeah. They want to see the original reactions. This can't. This video won't. These videos won't be po won't be fun because of the fact that we've already played this game. So this is more like us just having a podcast, really. <laughs> yeah, hundred episode podcast. Let's go. I mean, at least when I order my food, I'm gonna be able to pick it up without any without any questions on where I am. Yeah. Because like, you've seen where I live. Yeah. You know how hard it is to find me. Yeah. Don't be a bitch, bitch. <laughs> Basically. Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Turn around, I can't go if everyone's watching. I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Trust me, you can hold it for a lot longer. Yeah. Although there was someone who held it for like, what, like half the day and died. Check out these she went on Wii, but she died like immediately from holding it in too long. Damn. Someone must really hate this person. It's the announcer. Dude. So are we never gonna talk about the implications of this? Kind of uh, is never good. Implications of, of like th this one area on uh, yeah. where the uh, where that announcer's mental state was. Yeah, she straight up hated her lover's uh, wife. Yeah, and was seemingly suicidal upon that also. Yeah. So meaning she felt incredibly guilty about the fact that she was that she and him were cheating on her. Yeah. Who cares? Let's go. I'm sick Shut up, Jay. Let's be honest here, the red is most likely the blood from when she died. Yeah. Now that you mention it, me too. Probably well, does feel heavy, because it'd be through this place oppressive atmosphere. Alright, let's go back. Yes. Yeah. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Throughout this entire one episode series, 
I'm one episode. One hundred episode series. There's gonna be one frame of my credit card number. You Please don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't do shit like that. They will actually find it. Trust me. <laughs> okay. There's gonna be one frame of hardcore Naoto Shuridane hentai. You realize they'll actually catch that, right? Yeah. <laughs> On episode sixty-nine. If we get to that. Yeah. We're never gonna get to that. <laughs> I mean, you never know. I don't care if this goes until 2021. I'm hell-bent on trying, wanting to finish a game for the channel. At least one that's not Monster Bomb. That's what I want to know. I kind of want to replay Monster Bomb now. When I played with my sister, I read out all the voices myself, and then I, by the end, I had a sore throat. Oh, trust me, I had that, remember? Yeah. The bear is showering in fear. Maybe we better ask him nicely. It's a dream. Dream? What are you talking about? I've always lived here. It's real. My sister hates Teddy. I can kind of understand that because she's probably the type who views her his perversion as something to be cancelled. Yeah. You live here? Although to be fair, I don't particularly like enjoy Teddy either. If I was you guys, he's funny. I'd hurry back to the other I know, but until but like he's kinda of worthless until the end. Yeah. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? No. Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. I have a teddy blow pillow. Not pillow. Freaking exit. Freaking exit. Balloon. Table is, is this the current location? Uh, 12. 12. TVs. What the hell? Then the actual. Like, mm -hmm. Where did those TVs come from? I'll meet them outside. Alright. Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Stop pushing. Let's put chicken blaster. No. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan keeps baiting me to let him play chicken blaster. Huh? And I don't know. I do not understand his motives. Did we make it back? I have to make sure to put that address so I can tell what I can tell what will actually be you know, available to order here. Area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap! It's already that late. <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. Shocker. That's right. I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. I mean, time flies faster in the uh, alternate universe this morning, Persona. What's up now? I mean, yeah, but alternate dimensions hey, will, of course, have different uh, the time speeds. I tell before yeah. without the face, but it was Misuzu Haruzuki. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having Why are she eyes so white spread far apart? Who died the other day. Well, that's because the, the original concept so aren't. That weird room we saw. Could it be related Do you think to they the would movie actually movie be that far apart if they, if they were designed nowadays? Now that I no. Think about it, That's exactly what I thought. Though the eyes are social distancing. Yeah, stop. Stop. You're supposed to laugh at my comedy. Stop talking about. I would if it were actually funny. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. 
I don't think my I uh, ignore the fact that I laugh at my own jokes. I, I don't laugh because of the fact that they're funny. I laugh because of the fact that I actually saw his reaction. I want to lie down and rest. So yeah, that laughter was a bit of context. Yeah. All right, we are home. Hey. hey. Welcome home. Hey. Did he commit any murders now? <laughs> well, there was this one person. Does here. anyone remember the Hymns Daisy comic? The what? These old Persona Four comics. I've never read. A they were pretty. Comic. They were. They, it was a fan a fan comic. I've never read any fan comics apart from Hentai. It was pretty popular. Um. It also had a lot of jokes that were, uh, that were it kind of now infamous at the times because people overused them at the times. Well, yeah, well, I, I, I don't think anyone can bear that for that long. <laughs> I can't look at you, man. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the goldfish one open. We've got people looking for her. Yeah, what's how, what's the closest fast place to this place? I don't know. Oh, work just keeps work just piling up. And now, and now we're on the case still casting a shadow over I'm tempted to try this out because I don't really ever get this often, but Not long ago, I don't like vegetables and this place has a lot of vegetables. So you guys are not very vegetables. Up until now, yeah. her whereabouts prior to her death had been also, I feel, I feel like it'd be kind of weird for a Mexican to eat Taco Bell. <laughs> Even though my brother and sister have, uh, have... I haven't had Taco Bell in three years and that's mostly because I ate six tacos in one day and I threw up for ten hours. And that was on the same day I got my Nintendo Switch. Rip. She had apparently been and that was also on the same day my sister got out of school. Well, I guess I'll go with Jack in the Box, I guess. Oh, yes. Great Jack in the Box. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter. Yeah, I don't know. It's Frank Carlson. If that happens, she'll be one of the best managers. I find weird that this is in Frank Carlson. Like, I'm still so used to always being in River City. Yeah. The only other place I go to is Woodside. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. But that's because Woodside is like what, thirty minutes away from my from just a walk from my house. From now yeah. until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced. Yes, so Inaba. Please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. Are you sick? Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. Hmm. 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 Alright, I'm at a save point. Chad Yu Narukami is 48 hours in. Now what? Uh, continue, we play something else. Let's stop for now and uh, play another game before returning. Okay. Let's do this that. Uh, okay. We could probably cross out that last part. <laughs> I, I'm not editing these. 